Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome if you're new. So today is an updated mobile home tour. We have done quite a few rooms since the last tour. So I'm going to show you clips of the very first tour we did, which is where we had not touched a thing. So I hope this is super motivating for y'all. If you also live in a mobile home and you're wanting to remodel it, I want you to know right now before any of you leave <laughs> that it can be very affordable to do and you can take something that looks like dirt and turn it into a diamond i promise you for a good price so we are standing in our laundry room right now i'm going to show you what this room looked like before And this is what it looks like at the moment. I'll show you the colors we used in here very shortly. But we just recently painted this. And this is our washer and dryer. I made a mess right there. I've got to repaint that white. Um, but we have not changed our floors. Don't know what's going on outside. But this is what the laundry room looks like now. It just, as soon as you come in the back door boom washer and dryer so that is that right there it also kind of just goes in right there so now I'm going to show you the bedroom hopefully I'm doing this in the same order as my first video so this is our master bedroom slash bathroom we painted in here I also got a new comforter and new curtains that's all we've done in here this paint was about 20 something dollars at Lowe's it's the Valspar in the deep twilight blue so it is much darker than it looks uh, on the swatch <laughs> but this is the dark twilight blue so we got a king size bed in here the room is actually pretty big for a single wide trailer but the bed is huge, so it makes the room look pretty small. But I just decorated it, you know, kind of like minimally. That way it doesn't look over, like smaller than it is. And then this is just our little dresser over here with my little plant. But this is what the bedroom looks like now. Let me back up again so y'all can see what the bedroom looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. So we've done a lot of changes in this room. Changed the way the bed is. You know, the direction it's in. The color. Everything. We have not changed the carpet in here yet. But we will be doing that. That's probably the last thing we're going to do. Alright. Now we can go to the bathroom. Which is also a really big change. So we had to completely take out the floor in here and put new flooring in and we just used peel and stick tiles they have held up great we used the traffic master it is black on the sticky part we went recently to find some new ones for our kitchen and just make sure if you are doing peel and stick tiles on your floor that they are super sticky but my friend also let me know that they do make vinyl 
glue for these tiles in case you need that. So bathroom, we just have a thing right here to hold all of our stuff in. This little um, cabinet right there, toilet, and our shower curtain. So all we did in here was paint as well, white. It used to be a flower wallpaper and we fixed the floor and then we just decorated it. So I'm gonna show you a before of the bathroom. And this is after. So it's a very small master <laughs> bathroom, but it works for us. There's just two of us. We don't have any kids. So now I'm going to take you into the kitchen. Oh, hi. You can see me in there. <laughs> All right. So this is our hallway. We also painted these walls white. They were a light color before, but they had all the striping. So now it's just solid white. We also our door white because it was really just aged looking with the scratches and all that stuff it's it reminds me of a refrigerator door so that's all white right there we've painted a lot of stuff white the whole kitchen is pretty much white I'm still planning on doing something with our wallpaper changing it up but I do like my flowers so we may just do that in the future instead of doing it now because we tried to put vinyl <laughs> tiles on the walls and it did not work so here is our kitchen we got paint and trash this is real life here got our kitchen table everything is ran by air conditioning units and this is our kitchen right here i'm gonna walk into the living room so y'all can get like a big shot of the kitchen so to me the kitchen is pretty big for a single wide trailer our trailer is made in the 90s and it is a 14 by 70 so this is the kitchen i like how open it is a lot of you told me to put the table in the middle of the kitchen but i really like the table just pushed out of the way that way i can have all kinds of room to move around so this is our kitchen we painted all the cabinets white and we painted all the walls white except for where our flowers are because i do like the cottage look so I may just replace the previous wallpaper with new wallpaper to freshen it up if Aaron's okay with that. My husband does not like the flowers, <laughs> but I'm going to walk back here. So this is the after, and I'm going to show you the before of the kitchen real quick. Okay, so the really cool thing about the kitchen, all I did was paint it white. So the cabinets, I used the same white paint that I had used in the bathroom, so I did not have to go out and buy more paint for that. And then the other white paint we bought at Walmart, it was the Gildan brand, and it was, I think, $25 for a gallon. And we used that same gallon of paint to paint all of these walls white. We have only used one gallon of paint to be able to do all these walls white, including in our hallway um, back there. But I'm not going to show you that because it is definitely not done. So that's the kitchen. Now I'm going to turn around <laughs> and show you 
the living room which is right here so you just walk straight into the living room we we got to change the carpet the carpet is really bad we got to change our rug as well that will come last um, and Aaron does want to replace this we did this when we moved in but there's a lot of spots that have already came up and got opened so he kind of just wants to redo it and make it a darker color to kind of go with the theme so there's the blue that we just painted on our living room wall. It's one coat, y'all. I will show you right now. Well, let me not get ahead of myself. Okay, so here's the living room as is right now. And I will show you a before right now. So here it is it's just a lot more open than it used to be I got rid of a lot of the clutter and I moved the chair around the chair used to be over here and it used to just be kind of dark and just really really cluttered because I like decor but sometimes too much decor is uh, not a good thing so for the laundry room and the living room we used this right here it is Sherwin Williams showcase in satin and it is storm cloud and I will say that it did not oxidize if you know what I mean this color of the swatch is the same color of the wall and the Valspar that we picked out for our bedroom was actually supposed to be like the color of our wall maybe closer to this one right here this one's called Sweeping Rock that my thumb's on, but it ended up being the color of my blanket over there. So definitely, um, I would suggest using the Sherwin-Williams paint in the showcase. It's kind of like their mid-range line, but it is one coat. So we just did one coat on our wall right here, and it's good enough that we really don't have to do another coat, but there are some spots that could use some more and we're not professional painters so we did make a little mess but that is okay we got it done but yeah here's here's the living room our trailer is about 960 square feet so the laundry the kitchen the living room are just all just open plan and then back there there's just a long hallway another bathroom a another little tiny bedroom and then another bigger size bedroom so it's three bedrooms two full bathrooms and there's just two of us and this beautiful little dog right here i was editing a video for y'all but yeah this is our house and i will link the other video the the first tour down below for y'all so y'all can see what the entire house looked like including what's back there um before but i did just want to add some clips into this one of what it looked like before it's came a long way i will say in the first video i was very i didn't think that i was ungrateful for what we had 
but my mindset has changed a lot. So I didn't want to change anything about the trailer because I didn't want to live here forever. I wanted to live in a brand new trailer, but I realized that you can turn, I can turn with the trailer that we already had into a pretty trailer, you know? I didn't have to go out and buy a brand new trailer to like manifest, if you wanna say, a nice looking trailer. All I had to do was paint the walls. <laughs> Literally, that's all we've done is paint the walls. Um, and it has made such a huge difference. So changed the walls, added some daylight bulbs, which are like $10 for a pack of four. So not super expensive there at all. And it just made a big difference. So I hope y'all have enjoyed this video and it has motivated you. If you live in a home that you are not happy with, I just encourage you to paint. Paint your walls, make it look fresh, and you'll be surprised at how much just painting some walls will really change your atmosphere. And if you do have dreams to live in a brand new mobile home or a, a brick house or, you know, in a cabin or whatever your dreams are for your home, do that now, wherever you live. Make that your dream now because it will help you envision what you want in the future. But just always live for today. Be grateful for today, what you have today, because we could all be living on the streets. We could all be living, you know, in a shack, a literal shack, like not to be silly, but there are people that live in little sheds like that. We have family members that live in sheds like that by their choice. That's just how they like to live. Um, I mean, they have like hookups and stuff. It's not, they're not just living in a shed with a lawnmower. But you get what I'm saying. Like, there's always something that could be less. There's always something that could be more. But be grateful for what you have now. So I will leave y'all with that. I hope you enjoy this video. And I will see you back here tomorrow. If you're my regular subscribers. And you come back every day. Thank you so much. If you are new to the channel. I post a lot of cleaning videos. Decorating. And like cook with me. Slash clean with me videos. So just a lot of lifestyle goes on in this little trailer. And a lot of motivation for y'all. That is my main goal that I keep telling myself for this channel is that I just want to motivate you to do whatever that may be. <laughs> I just want to motivate you to do. So no judgment zone over here. I need to make that a t-shirt, but I appreciate y'all so much. So very grateful for all of you that watch these videos and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye.